What's going on, y'all? This is your Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 8, Episode 19, Reunion Part 2. Let's jump on into it, shall we? Well, it was alright for the most part. Kenya couldn't shut the fuck up. Um, She always had an opinion about every fucking everybody else. And they started off the episode... With the um, yeah, with the whole boat accident with Portia and um, Cynthia, and who was in the right, who was in the wrong. Like I said, both of them bitches was in the fucking wrong. Cynthia, the most part, was more in the fucking wrong. Cause she just got you ain't dumb, you ain't stupid, you act like you're stupid, but we know you ain't stupid. They both should have said that they both said the wrong thing at the wrong time. Cynthia got crunk for no damn reason. Kick that girl and put the muscle. You did kick me. You made me have contusion and all that. She just like, oh girl, you didn't have nothing. You just trying to blame it all on me. Well, that's what happens when you fight a bitch. Of course, you're going to get cuts. You're going to get bruises. Hell, you might have a finger bent or broke hair. That's what happens when you fight a bitch on a ball. And hell, Cynthia wasn't doing nothing kicking anyway. So let's be honest. Let's be real here. So. Then my dad, here come Kenya again, opening her damn mouth about there. Not only that, then she tried to bring up the old reunion shit for season seven. Time out some way she dragged her across the stage and about knocked the hell out of her ass. It's like Kenya was opening her mouth at the wrong fucking vision. Like, bitch, shut up. You was talking the whole goddamn reunion. Wasn't shit about you. Ain't nobody asked you to chime in. You was just like a fucking bird that couldn't keep quiet. That's all you was this whole entire reunion, a fucking bird. That somebody should have got up and bopped the shit out your ass. And I got tired of her ass. And so then we get to the Peter and Cynthia drama about they married and him kissing the girl at the bar. And then they showed the clips of that and everybody talking about it. <laughs> Phaedra threw her shade. Portia threw her shade. Everybody threw shade at her ass. And then when we got back to it and Andy asked him, so, Peter, do you feel like you're guilty in our tape? Or you feel like in your tape? No, I don't feel guilty. I don't feel Bitch, how the fuck you don't look guilty? You was in a fucking bar or club, wherever the fuck you was. You was in there, got your hands on a woman like this woman is your fucking woman. I got your hands on this fucking woman like this was your wife, girlfriend, or whatever. Kissing this woman in her fucking mouth. You didn't peck her. Y'all tongues went in each other's mouth. And then you going to have her talk about after the tape. And after that show that you going to say you don't feel guilty. And then Cynthia dumbass going to chime in. Yeah, I don't think Peter would have cheated on me. Let's be honest. Let's be real. I mean, he would have been more discreet about that. And Portia, you ain't have to say nothing, but you just hear start running your damn mouth and you said something. So Peter tried to check you. You said what you had to say. You said, don't let me talk about your marriage. And then from there, to them two throwing shade at each other, Peter tried to defend himself. Um, Cynthia trying to help him defend himself. When she should have kept her fucking mouth shut, trying to defend this little bastard for kissing another woman in her mouth on tape. And then y'all let it slip that he be in North Carolina, whatever one of the Carolina he be in. And apparently that's where the hell for stay at. But you sit up here defending this man on TV, making yourself look like a bigger idiot. And then Portia, for the most part, didn't say too much about that. Peter wanted to make a dick deal. Then Kenya, here she go again, opening up her goddamn mouth. I was over and done with them. I was over it when he called this up, talking about he don't look guilty on the tape. And then Cynthia gonna have her to gonna chime in, talking about some. He ain't guilty. He ain't guilty. I'm pretty sure he would have did it somewhere else in a more discreet location than that. Bitch, the point is, your man was caught kissing another woman in a fucking bar or club, wherever the fuck it was, and it wasn't no. Peck like normal people do, like on the cheek or the forehead, bitch. And they had tongue to tongue, like he, like he was on the fucking floor trying to get CPR. 
Dog with the time you need to cut his ass or whatever you gonna do. Whatever but you sitting up there defending him and you ain't make the situation no fucking better, so whatever. We gonna leave that alone. And then we get to the Phaedra whole thing and Phaedra taking the about the Phaedra and about the Apollo thing in prison. She took the kids and then she threw her shade. Then after that, um yeah, about that comment, she said, and you not helping her pay no bill, or you're not helping her with your children, please stay the fuck out her bed. That's basically what she said, and they caught her out on there. And she said, who that was? He said, oh, that's the everybody. And so they talked about that, huh, and Candy got into it. And that's about it for that part, for the most part. But wait, back that up. They talked about her having conjugal visit with Apollo. She said, oh, hell no. They talked about um something about some other. I think her and Ken Kenya and Phaedra got into it again. I think, maybe. I don't remember. Like I said, this this, this reunion is, a, normally that reunion be off the chain. This reunion, eh, I really don't care. But whatever, we must succeed on and Hun huh, Candy got into it and whatever else. And that's about all I'm going to say about that. And then we get the fake boyfriends and then this trip to Miami. They asked um, Porsche about her two boyfriends, Duke, and then the little man that went to, to um, Miami and Jamaica with her. They said they're not officially boyfriend and girlfriend yet, but they talk on a daily basis. And she talked to her after I done, I guess she done take it off to the celeb the apprentice. She talked to him, and the whole time he go kill you. Like she rolling her eye. Like every time somebody talk you didn't like, you snuck that rolling your little ugly ass eyes in the back of your goddamn head. And like Kenya you want to say so much, but bitch, we tired of your mouth. You tell you threw shade. Back to back every episode, you was always fucking with somebody. When you weren't fucking with somebody, you ended up there on confession of being a confession against a gangster, talking in a motherfucker confession of talking about somebody, or throwing shade at somebody. And like, you did so fucking much this damn season, and you would have sat there and looked cute with that little mop on your damn head. We wouldn't have cared, I wouldn't have missed you. I guess Candy had to get a little crunk at this reunion, cause you were basically in the fucking background the whole damn season when we were, only time we saw her when she was going to uh, baby appointments about that damn restaurant when she went basically Candy was in the background I still say Candy was in the background Kim was also in the background but at least we did get some kind of action of you know scenes with Kim around everybody so I guess Candy had to get crunked. And Lord, I forgot what else I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Then they talk about she, that we yeah, are about to the Miami trip. We, they talked about that. And the fact that she hawk nephew, supposedly nephew. I still say that ain't for fucking nephew. That just some man she met in the corner and say, oh, be my nephew. For I can take these little few scenes. For I can be seen on TV. And they talking about that that whole night with him acting fucking crazy. And Kenya telling that man he had to leave and him getting crazy. Him making um she hot fall and bust her damn head. They talked about that. And basically everybody tried to blame that shit on Kenya, but which it wasn't her fault. But she was kind of fuck with that man all night. But what I can say, yeah, you ain't caused that man to go off. But you did kind of poke at that man, though, Kenya. I'm still not defending your ass. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. You did that to that man. You did kind of make that man mad. But he ought to be grown up of a man to know you don't do half of that shit. Like Kenya said, she felt threatened. We know Kenya's scary ass felt threatened. Sheree said she wasn't threatened, but she kind of was. And why the fuck is she was even on a reunion? Because I don't understand her role why she on the couch. They could have just kept her ass in the background too like Candy. But I guess she wanted to be seen at the reunion also. 
And they talked about that for a whole goddamn night. I mean, hold that whole, a whole few seconds, and um, about that crazy ass man, and try to blame it on Kenya. Like I said, the first part of the night was part Kenya snapping at that man, trying to get that man attention, and then from that, when that man acting a fucking fool, that rest of that night when he. Flip she hawk on her fucking head. That wasn't her fault. So I agree it was past the her fault, but not the whole thing. And then they talk about some kicking you like that man. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You need to shut up. I didn't like that man. I didn't like that man. You need to shut up. Girl, you like that man. So why else was you snapping at that man trying to get that man a tear to talk about some you? You, you. So why you was doing all that to that man on that damn bowl? What you were being flirty? Okay, Kenya, whatever you say, girl, you know you like to that damn man. And then, poor, I mean, Candy chimes in again and said, she made a very interesting point, I might add. So, Candy stands up in it. And she makes a very interesting point. And told y'all, when she got through me and her point, I forgot what the fuck she said. When she got to tell what the fuck she was saying, she said, now Portia and King, I mean, now Portia and Phaedra, now what? Say something. Y'all can't say nothing, which is what she said. I forgot what she said about that little crazy ass boy. But it was a good interesting point. And that's where it ended up with Portia and, with Portia and Phaedra mouth closed, silent, silent, basically getting the white mouth all of a damn sudden. They ain't got no words. Poof, be gone. And anyway, though, that's about all I got for y'all today. Like this video, share this video, comment, let me know what you think about tonight's episode. All social media going to be down in the bottom bar. And tell a friend, tell a Kim, tell that hell for you, hate, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.